So today we're gonna to be doing an oil change on the Cummins, basically just showing you how to do one. If you don't, you need to learn. It's like a necessity to know how to do this. So what I like to do, I like to take the oil cap off so kind of it flows nice out from the oil pan so it's not like So I like to do that. And then you can just take your 3 8 ratchet and that goes right on it. All right, so you want to have your oil pan under here. I like to take the oil filter off while the oil's draining so I can stay busy and get it done quicker. So there's a few different tools you can use to break that loose. You can use something like that, something like that, and you use something like that. You can use this. I use this one because it's a new tool. My dad just got it. Most times I use this. I don't really like those. And this works good in really tight areas, but it can also be kind of a pain in the butt. I've already broken a loose with that one. Those should just come off. Make sure that your oil pan is uh, underneath this because if it's not, it's going to make a mess. And you've got to clean it up with some kitty litter. But I move mine over a little bit my oil's done draining pull it out like that okay so i just got this at my local auto parts store it's just a wig older other one was a park west but what i like to do when i'm putting this back on i like to get this a little bit like wet with oil so it seals better so i'll usually just go like this just kind of do it like that i'm gonna kind of wrap around a little bit now get your new one push it down there this is actually difficult with one hand and if you can't do it with one hand you're not a pro just kidding. Like hand tight should be plenty, so just get it snug. That's all done. Go to the bottom. Put your plug back in so you can fill it up with oil and it doesn't come out the bottom, you know? All right, so I'm using Super DXA engine oil from Del Solio, liquid titanium, whatever that is. I don't know if it's synthetic or not. It probably is. This should be good stuff. But the engine capacity, the whole thing, it should take 12 quarts, but basically a quart is gonna go in the oil filter, so. 12 quarts. I have this. This is five quarts up to here. So let's do it. All right, so that was a total of 12 quarts. Put that back on, I guess. Start the motor, let it idle for like 10 seconds, and then turn it off, wait a little bit more. Just put oil to drain all the way down, and then uh, check it with the dipstick. You're doing this, so the oil will circulate around the motor, and so it'll go into the fill up the oil filter and everything. So let's do that. All right, check your oil. Gucci. That's how you change your oil on the Cummins. Super fast, super easy, it's awesome. So the oil was 15W40, took 12 quarts. Uh, the oil filter, make sure it's the right size. When I went to the auto parts store, she gave me one that's like half the size. And I'm like, you sure this is the right one? And she's like, oh, I put a gas. It's like, dude. Anyway, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll catch you next time. Next week, we got transmission flush. Watch for that.